well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long journey, but we finally made it. Who knew that what began in January 2014 with a request for information about Sikh war uniforms from a keen sculptor to a filmmaker would lead to the creation of the UK's first World War I Sikh memorial? Thinking back over the past two years, we held our breaths and took many giant leaps to where we are today. It started with a challenge. Instead of developing a six-inch figurine, why not a six-foot granite one? Let's make it bronze. Let's put it where people will go to remember. Let's crowdfund the monument online. And when we successfully, successfully raised more than £22,000 to begin the process, the creativity did not stop just there. Make the turban bigger, I would often say. Make the beard flow longer. The Subedar began to take shape. This endeavour could not have been possible without trust and dedication within our small team, based on a mutual respect for and desire to see honoured the memory of Sikhs who served our country during the war. For that, I am truly grateful to have worked with some truly creative people, our designer and sculptor, Mark Bibby, fine art foundry sculptor castings, and our stonemasons, GA Cannell Memorials. Mark and Simon, um, I'd like to shortly ask you to step forward, um, and I'd like to ask Major General Patrick Sanders um, to come and present you with a token of our gratitude for all you have done for the Sikh community. Mark, Simon. Don't be shy, sir. Um, so this is our designer and sculptor, Mark Biddy. <laughs> it looks a bit like that. Does it? Thank you so much for what I'd also like to thank on behalf of the Sikh community, the National Memorial Arboretum, and all its volunteers and officers who have, over the past 18 months, advised and helped us develop our plans. The unveiling of the nation's first monument dedicated to the memory of Sikhs who served during World War I is an historic moment in British Sikh history, but it has taken far too long to get here, not least because we as a community have made a remarkable contribu contribution to Britain over the past 150 years not just in the military, but within every section of our society, industry, the arts, business, sport, culture, charitable endeavour. We are a colourful, vibrant and exuberant community, known for our charity and our warmth of heart. But where would we be without the gallantry and sacrifice of our forebears, who a century earlier left their homes in the Punjab to venture far afield in search of adventure and to live as their gurus had instructed and told them to do so, with their duty as a martial race in fighting tyranny at the heart of their forts. This is reflected in the words of signaler Kartar Singh from Ludhiana, who rode home from France in January 1916 in what for me sums up why Sikhs fought and why we should never forget them. We shall never get such another chance to exalt the name of race, country, ancestors, parents, villages and brothers and to prove our loyalty to the government. I hope we shall renew our Sikh chronicles. Do not be distressed, such hardships come upon brave men. What is fated must be endured. I pray to God to give us a chance to meet the foe face to face. To die in battle is a noble fate. Today we are indeed renewing our Sikh chronicles with the unveiling of our memorial. It will inspire people from all walks of life to, well into the future and it will fill our own children and grandchildren with confidence in their faith and identity to undertake great deeds. You will shortly hear from Pai Saab, Dr. Mahinda Singh, about Sikh Taram, after which our patron, Peter Singh Verdi, from the Verdi Foundation, will highlight, highlight the importance of charitable endeavor. Then we are honored to be hearing from a senior British officer, Major General Patrick Sanders, CBO DSO, about Sikh military service in the past as well as in the present. But before we leave the unveiling site, you will be no doubt just what this memorial means 
Please promote it far and wide. Take photos, take a selfie, and encourage as many people as you can to visit here and to remember the deeds of our glorious ancestors. Thank you very much.